There are a few properties that light has that allows us to do calculations involving light. Light travels at a certain speed, 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second in a vacuum. Okay, 300 million meters per second. 300 million meters per second. Now that's fast. Wavelength, which is signified by the Greek letter lowercase lambda, measured in meters. Frequency is measured in either hertz or per second, one over second. 300 wavelengths per second is called 300 hertz. In other words, if you're standing there and 300 wavelengths pass you every single second, that would be called 300 hertz. 300 wavelengths per second or 300 per second. The wavelength is the distance between two peaks. And the number of these peaks that pass you per second is the frequency. So you can see, the shorter you make the wavelengths, because light always travels at the same speed, if light's always traveling at the same speed, and you make the wavelength shorter, you're going to have higher frequency. Shorter wavelengths means more of those wavelengths can pass you in any second. If you make the wavelength longer, then traveling at the same speed, fewer wavelengths will pass you per second because the wavelengths themselves are longer, so it takes more time for them to pass. So, frequency and wavelength are indirectly related. As frequency increases, wavelength gets shorter. As wavelength increases, frequency decreases. The other factor you're dealing with is energy. Energy is measured in joules. Now, all light has energy because what happens is you have electrons that are in energy levels that are above the nucleus. When the energy is given to an electron, it rises in energy level. When it falls back down, it loses all of that energy. And that energy is measured in joules. And that's the same amount of energy that the light has that's given off. You can relate energy to frequency using Planck's constant. Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per hertz, which means for every hertz of frequency, that's how much joules the light has. So as energy increases, the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases. The more energy light has, the shorter its wavelength gets and therefore the higher the frequency of wavelengths that pass you. Now you can use this to calculate a couple of variables. First of all, if you know the frequency, you can find the wavelength. And if you know the wavelength, you can find the frequency. Because when multiplied, they equal a constant, C, the speed of light. What is the frequency of a radio photon with a wavelength of 2.00 meters? C equals frequency times wavelength. If we're trying to find frequency, we divide both sides by wavelength and we get 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by the wavelength which is 2.00 meters. So that meters cancel and leaves us with 1 over seconds. 1.5 times 10 to the 8th hertz or 1 over second. 1.5 times 10 to the 8th. What is the wavelength of a photon containing, coming off the WPDH, for those of you who don't know, WPDH is a classic rock station that's located in Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, WPDH radio tower, which has a frequency of 101.5 megahertz, or 101,500,000 one over second. So we're trying to find out what the wavelength is, divide both sides by frequency, and there it's gone. 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by the frequency which is 101 500 and there we go and that would be in one over second seconds cancels and leaves you with meters and this leaves you with 2.9556650 meters, three sig figs, four sig figs, one, two, three, 2.16 meters. And that would be the wavelength of the signal coming off the tower. So if you could actually see the WPDH signal coming towards you, it would be a little bit more than two meters in length each wavelength. E equals H times F. Energy equals Planck's constant, or how many joules there are in a hertz, times the frequency. So what is the energy 
of a photon of visible light with a frequency of 3.77 times 10 to the 14th hertz? Easy. 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per hertz, okay, that's H, times the frequency 3.77 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Okay, now when we multiply these two numbers together, 2.4882 times 10 to the negative 19th. Two sig figs, three sig figs, we round to two sig figs, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 19th. And that would be measured in, because Hertz cancels out, joules. And that would be the energy that that particular photon of light has. What is the frequency of a photon? E equals H times F. What is the frequency? Divide both sides by H. The energy is 7.33 times 10 to the negative 19th joules divided by Planck's constant 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per hertz. And this comes out to 1.11060606 times 10 to the 15th. Now, let's see. Two sig figs, three sig figs, so that's two sig figs. 1.1 times 10 to the 15th. And because joules cancel out, that leaves you with hertz, which is the unit for frequency. So using these formulas, you can find frequency if you know wavelength, wavelength if you know frequency. You can find energy if you know frequency, and frequency if you know energy. And you can combine the two equations together. If you know wavelength, you can find frequency and then use that frequency to find energy. You can also go the other way. If you know the energy, you can find the frequency and then use that frequency to find the wavelength. And that's how you do calculations with light.